Hello, Paulo Sent Mania. Glary very kindly sent in the GDP 103 digital piano for review. Thank you very much, Glary. This is a um, fully weighted hammer action ADA key digital piano. So let's open the box, let's check it out and see what it sounds like. In the box we have the two wooden sides of the piano. Here we have the power adapter and this is the pedal board. And here we have the manual with the guarantee card and some other accessories, a pair of headphones, and this beautiful purple piano cover, and the piano itself. And there's one more component, the back wooden plate. Okay, let's mount it real quick. Alright, let's read features and the description of uh, the manual here. So the Glary has um, an 88 keys keyboard and it's uh, weighted. 480 sounds, 200 rhythms, 80 demos in the libraries, keyboard percussion drums, LCD display, master volume, tempo control, transpose, core function, fill in button, synchronization, keyboard split function, touch control, transfer metronome, USB MIDI capability, and headphone jack, stereo audio input, and stereo audio output. And for this demo, we're using the headphones out. It's got two headphones out, which is useful if uh, you're teaching uh, another person. In the back of the unit, we have the power adapter input, the USB input, MIDI out and in, and then um, there's no sustain pedal there because instead it's connected via another connector to the pedal board. And then it's got quarter inch audio out and audio in. The piano also has a pair of um, speakers on the underside of the unit and they make up for a good stereo image from uh, left to right. To the left of the piano, we have the master control panel. There is a digital display readout, a USB port that allows you to play MP3 files using the built-in speakers on the keyboard, drum button to play drum sounds, the metronome function, touch to turn the dynamic of the piano on or off, core button, sync button, when you press a key, it activates the drum machine. Fill in button for the drum machine. Split, dual, there is a sequencer for record here. Tempo button, transpose, play for the sequencer. A tone button and a rhythm button. There are lots of tones and lots of rhythms. And a demo button and these buttons here are to move around the values. And when you press them together, it reverts to zero. And finally, a start stop for the drum machine. Here is the master button to turn the unit on and off. And here is the master volume. All right, this piano has a lot of sounds, but of course, let's start with the acoustic grand piano first which is very versatile, you can use it for a number of genres.
Number three is a honky-tonk piano. Number four is the classic Rhodes electric piano. Here we have a harpsichord. Number nine is the beautiful glockenspiel. Eleven is the vibraphone. Marimba. and the xylophone. Here's a classic electric organ. And here is a percussive jazzy organ. Here is a realistic church organ. Harmonica. Jazz electric guitar patch. This is a string ensemble.
this is a powerful choir. And a synthesized voice. Here's a nice trumpet. A brass section. Here we have a tenor sax. Here's a lead synthesizer sound. A nice synthesizer pad. Here's a Zhang. All right, let's take a look at the other features of the piano. For example, the drum feature. If you press the drum button, you can easily switch from um, any piano sounds or any sound that you have loaded. To drum sounds all over the keyboard so you can build your own rhythms. The metronome function is useful to develop your sense of rhythm. With the touch function, you can disengage the dynamics of the keyboard. That's useful if you want to play sounds that don't have dynamics in the original instrument, such as the organ. For example, this organ has dynamics right now. But the real instrument doesn't have it, so you just uh, can press the touch thing and it's always the same level. doesn't matter what dynamics I use. The chord function allows you to play an accompaniment on um, your left hand. You can start the rhythm. Right now we have the 50s pop loaded and then you can improvise with another instrument with the right hand, such as this. Pressing the sync button allows you to start it when you press the key.
The fill-in emulates what a drummer would use for fillings on the tom-tom, such as this. Then there's a great sequencer feature, which is called the record feature. And you just press record and it will record anything that you play on, uh, on the piano. And you can play it back. And it's a great way to improve your playing and also to record um, ideas that come to you while you play. Let's try some of the other cool rhythms on this piano. This one's called 80s pop and we're gonna use the sync in feature. And then we're gonna change the instrument on the right side. We're gonna put in something more modern, such as these strings, and this is what we get. This is a really cool Latin rhythm. Goes well with the trumpet. And let's check it out with the rest of the chordal accompaniment here. Here's a samba bit. And here's another classic electronic sounding pattern. Here's a blue sound.
right, this was the review of the Glary GDP 103 Hammer Action um, 88 key digital piano. This is a great instrument for the student or even uh, adults who want to learn how to play the piano. It's got a really nice touch. It's easy to play. It, it's got the weighted action, but it's not too hard to, to play. So it's, um, it's a very good um, instrument to, to learn to play with. We kind of scratch the surface of what it can do because there are literally hundreds of sounds and patterns on this piano. It would take hours to listen to them all. Also a cool thing it has MIDI in and out. So you can use it as a um, master keyboard as well. You can get this piano for $379.99. I'm gonna add a link to the product in the description below. Again, thank you very much to Glary for sending it. Really appreciate it. And um, I'll see you all at the next video. Thank you.